Procedural justice is just the way in which our men and women are out there serving the community. It's the expectation that you're going to go out there and uh, serve the community in a way that is both fair, that is uh, building trust and legitimacy amongst them. It is still continuing to do your job, but it is doing so in a way where they look at more so the process as opposed to the outcome. And if that process and how you're dealing with the community is, is looked upon as being fair and respectful, it will not matter what the outcome is. They will know that they have been treated in a way uh, that gives them both respect and dignity in that process regardless of the outcome. It's, it's really the golden rule. It's just treating people the way you'd want to be treated. Part of it is, is understanding our role in the community. Um, you know, we all get this shiny badge on us and we take the oath on day one, um, but it's really a little bit of a deeper dive in understanding the significance of our role and, um, and what the community expects from us and how we, in order to be successful as, as uh, peace officers, it's, it's knowing and understanding the dynamics which occur out in our communities on a daily basis, but also knowing that every momentary action that we have with a community member can be very impactful for the good and also for the bad, depending upon that contact and that interaction. We are really out there to, to do the best we can. The majority of the people out there support the work that we do and um, the relationships that we can build with those communities can really move the dial forward in terms of our relationship, continuing to build that trust and legitimacy, and, um, and making officers feel good about the job they're doing.